there. I'm Chris Rachel Lewislin with the Austin Post. We are out here at South by Southwest on the last day of Interactive with Simon Closey of the Pirate Bay movie. So how have, how have things gone with people actually watching the movie? It's, it's, uh, it's been really good feedback and I'm really glad to be here and, and to be able to show this sort of internet story uh, in, a, in a context where, where people really seem to understand the topic. So uh, getting really great feedback. When you say really great feedback, what does that mean? Because the Pirate Bay is pretty controversial. Yeah, it's very controversial, of course. Really? Shocking. Shocking. Oh, yeah, well, you know, it stirs up, stirs up a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. but, um, I think that uh, when I say great feedback, death I mean, threats, yeah, well, people know, wanting to have your babies at those extremes. I guess conflict is good, debate is good, right? That's uh -huh. how we take steps forward, you know. And, uh, I think the Pirate Bay, they are they are a site that has made the internet take a lot of steps forward. You know, a lot of people would say that you know it's a step backward for artists and stuff. But for me, I don't perceive it that way. I perceive it as a step forward. I'm actually in the same place with you. I, I write books as well, and every time I see that they've been pirated and uploaded somewhere, those are not people who have bought my book. But they might tell their friend about it. I totally think so. So, so uh, but what I've been getting here uh, is uh, it's like interested uh, questions about you know how how are you going to survive? You give out the film for free. Yeah. How the heck are you going to make a living? You know, and what what are these new, what are the new tools mm -hmm. uh, to use and, and, and so forth? So, so I've been talking about crowdfunding. I've been talking about uh, you know, trying to, I'm trying to sell a film that's for free online yeah. at the same time. But you're not the first person to do something like that. There are a few bands that have been yeah, very yeah, successful. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm like, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants here. <laughs> not, not at all. But, I mean, uh, do you find that people are, I mean, especially since it's only $10 to get the movie. That's yeah. very, very affordable. That's yeah. about what you pay for one ticket. And you can you know, see however many people you want yeah. from your computer. Have people been pretty open to the idea that, hey, I want to make sure that he's able to feed his children and have family. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of feedback. I think people in the community really want to, want to pay me. Uh -huh. At the same time, you know, the, the tricky thing for, for indie filmmakers that want to sell their stuff uh, themselves mm -hmm. is, uh, of course, to how, how do you drive the traffic to your site? Yeah. How do you get people to find your filming? Mm -hmm. So with me, pushing the film from the Pirate website for a few days, yeah. I, got, I got a lot of traffic, you know, mm -hmm. and then people would buy the film if they came to my buy button. Uh -huh. But uh, once it's down from there, it's very hard for people to find my, my site and to actually pay for it. Yeah. So, at the moment, it's been seen by a million and a half or so really? on YouTube. A million and a half people? After the first month. Uh, so, uh, and, and it's, but there's only like around 3,000 people that I paid for. Yeah. But I don't think you should see that as a, uh, as a sign of you know, a million and a half people having had the choice to pay <laughs> or not to pay. Because you know? most people have just seen it on YouTube because that's where the film lives right now. Yeah. I think that's going to be good for me in the long run as well. So, what has been some of the most, what was the most surprisingly controversial thing about it? I mean, there's the obvious controversies uh, as far as you know, file sharing and profit and things along those lines, the RIA, but what surprised you the most when making this movie? What surprised me the most? Well, I guess, you know, in 2009, when, when the guys uh, got convicted, when yeah. they got that first, you know, almost $4 million dollar, uh, Damage yeah. verdict. You know? yeah, I mean, that was that was that was, uh, that was really, really surprising. I, mean, really, I really didn't think it was going to be that sort of harsh. You know, that, that sort of wow. That was surprising for me. Then, uh, then another big surprise for me was uh, when I did my Kickstarter campaign. Uh, sort of amazing support uh, I got from the internet. You know, not just that I managed to raise fifteen thousand dollars, but Sort of this uh, this real sort of psychological push. And this yeah. Wonderful, warm People feeling. People really wanted you to get People out there and really tell the story. Wanted to tell the story. They wanted the story. Right? It was like it was their story. Yeah. yeah. And they wanted to be part of it. They wanted to participate. Yeah. And and that, I feel that, like I mean, people really 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 want you to tell this story because it is genuinely interesting and it is about a massive amount of change. Yeah. Uh, why do you think it is that? Uh, why do you think it is that people want to hear more and more about this? Because the media is trying to kind of lose it. Like, oh no, this is all evil. But a lot of what you're talking about in the movie is like this is not actually a source of evil. This is a source of sharing and good, and people can still make money off it. Of course, and I think that. Uh, People know that all mm -hmm. over the world. They know that uh, you know, the picture that's being painted in a lot of mainstream media isn't uh -huh. necessarily the truth. And they also know that. Uh, I, I, I think, at least, I think that, uh, that it's, uh, it's just a topic that people uh, care about because they use these systems. Yeah. It's like de facto being used by these systems. What do you think the best thing to come from open file sharing like that has been? The best thing? Well, you know. 
I think for me it's just access to culture. I think that you know culture. I, I believe that culture comes from uh, inspiration. Creativity is born from uh, watching other you know, other culture. You know? So I think that access to culture is the sort of nucleus. So sort of, uh, you know, I think that's if we have access to more culture, I think better culture will be produced. Yeah, better culture will be born. So I support access to culture as an artist. That's like you know, I mean, the belief that I have. That we will create better culture that's good for mankind and yeah. our societies. We can, we can build these internets open to yeah. you know, and share culture. At the same time, of course, we need a way to inject money into the system so that we can you know, live off our culture. Yeah, that's, that's one of the frustrating things for me on a totally shallow level. Like, he's over here with the depth of culture and everything, but with me, I like a lot of foreign shows. If I can't get them legally, I will go ahead and. Uh, Time Warner you didn't hear this, but I might find other ways of acquiring them if there's an absolutely no... Hold on, hold on. Are you, are you saying that you can get like local, like American stuff, maybe? New stuff? Can um, you get that? No, no. <laughs> I mean, this, this, uh, no, I'm talking about like BBC programs. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. No, 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 I'm just saying you can't even get new American stuff. Right? I would never admit to that since I like having cable television at home. Okay, of course. But I'm, I'm just trying to say that a lot of new stuff isn't... Uh, you know, since it takes so long time for stuff yeah. to come out, yeah. you know, stuff is all theatrical. Yeah, yeah. window. Exactly. Yeah. But long the time. point that I'm trying to make is that if if a media owner, yeah. regardless of whether it's a music uh, video, songs, mm -hmm. uh, books, whatever, has decided they're not going to offer something for sale, and they have a product people want, people will find other ways to get it. And so it's kind of their fault for saying, I don't want you to own this thing. Okay, well, you made something awesome, people do kind of want it. And so would you say that this is encouraging you to find more ways of monetizing it, find more ways of making this stuff more accessible? Or are they going the other direction just trying to plant down it? Well, that, that's, I mean, of course, I mean, we, we're seeing new tweets now, we're seeing, we're seeing Netflix, we're seeing new releases on directly to Netflix, yeah. I think that's like revolutionary, I mean, yeah. that's, a, that's a full first step you know, in, in some form of direction. You're seeing Spotify, and, yeah. and those tools that you know, mainstream, uh, uh, the entertainment industry are really, uh, you know, sort of using, you know? I think uh, that's, that's a step in the right direction. Uh, at the same time, I think it's kind of scary that uh, we, we are creating new monopolies uh, on the internet, you know, and uh, I, I think that the internet uh, should be decentralized, I think that would be better for us, uh, creative people. If you were going to start the internet from scratch, right? it was an accident on Darker's part, and I love you guys for it, don't get me wrong, but if you were rebooting it, what would you do differently? I would say three companies should own the, and control the entire internet <laughs> and just surveil everybody. You know, that's Cameras in everyone's bedroom. That's it. No, I would try to do the opposite, and I would try to keep this open ecosystem, uh, but at the same time try and, try and build new tools, you know, mm -hmm. so that we can find ways to, to, to live, you know. Um, so that's that's what I'm trying to make, you know, trying to experiment with my film. I have no clue what's gonna happen. It's super exciting, you know. It's a, it's a little, it's a little, it's not scary. It's just it's just really interesting. What's uh, it? So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, I just hope yeah, that we keep building uh, new technologies and keep sort of uh, focusing on on, on that, and, like, keeping the networks open. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time out from South by Southwest. Uh, you too can download the Pirate Bay movie at the Pirate Bay. You can see it on YouTube. And what's the can you give a link to your site? Well, first of all, I'm going to say that we are also releasing the film today on iTunes. And lots of tons of traditional. Another place you could actually pay for it if you want him to be able to eat. So check it out on iTunes on my site tpbafk.tv on YouTube on the Pirate Bay. It's all yours. Go crazy.